Would you like a new way to grow revenues? Well, hang on, because in this video clip, we're going to tell you how and how to get over the biggest fear of doing it this way. Rapport International, Professional Translation and Interpretation Services. I'm Wendy Pease from Rapport International, and last week I got a call from a potential client who said, I'm getting leads in from Germany. My website's in English. I don't know how they found us, but if there's business there, I'd like to increase it. How can I do that? He's really smart. He's really looking for the opportunity to grow business internationally. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the amazing ways that you can do this. The world is changing and people who are experiencing this growth in inter global markets are becoming accidental exporters. And it means that their website's out there. People from all over the world can find it. it. And it's a new opportunity to build your business. And what's also driving this is the change in the American society. As millennials grew up traveling internationally, they're not as afraid of people from other countries who speak other languages and have other cultures. So the young people who are getting into business and starting businesses, they're embracing it. They're tech natives who know how to put a website up. They're not afraid of the global market, so they're putting translation up there. They're leveraging technologies in ways that can help with cultural adaptation and translation. And then you also have uh, the change in the U.S. where we used to be a melting pot and people would come to the United States and try to assimilate into the community and learn English and try to push away their native culture. Now it's becoming more of a mixed salad. You got some crunchy lettuce, you got some juicy tomatoes, you got cucumbers, you got all these different people coming in and really keeping their language, keeping their culture and um, wanting to, to buy in their language. So go check out uh, Telemundo and look at the ads that are on there and all the major advertisers are companies in the United States that have adapted their advertising for a Spanish speaking market. Huge potential here. Now stepping outside the US market, there's a huge world out there with a tremendous amount of potential. The population in the US is 330 million with an M. The population of the world is 7.5 billion with a B. That's a lot more people. And in China alone, there's about 1.2, excuse me, 1.5 billion people out there, which is about five times the amount of the US population. So if you think about just the pure numbers of people that are out there, and you take your US English marketing content and you translate that and culturally adapt it and simply put a landing page out there, uh, you've got the ability to attract people in from all over the world. And then you match where uh, the, the business is coming in from and you can expand your marketing in those languages. Huge opportunity. And not only is there a benefit of a larger market, but by exporting, you also list, limit your domestic risk because as the economy might start to slow down or decline here in the United States, in other markets it's increasing. So you're actually balancing your revenues and companies that export uh, pay higher wages, grow at faster rates, um, and have happier employees. Uh, you can also expand the life cycle of your mature products when it's coming to the end here. You've got other markets that you can go. There's free state and federal resources to help you. Um, here in Massachusetts, we have Mass Export. They do trainings all the time. They do some free consulting. They run some trade shows. And they have organizations in all the states to help with this because it helps level out the balance of trades. Um, and then you, you, you balance off the currency risk by um, being in different places. As the value of the dollar drops, if you've got uh, investments in other countries, then it's increasing. So there's a lot of benefits to just uh, having a larger market. And you might think, well, I own a small company or I work for a mid-sized company. You know, I, I can't do this. That's for large companies. Well, 97% of the exporters are small and mid-sized businesses. And two-thirds of these countries, own, our companies only sell to one other country. So if you can imagine, they take 
the formula and the process that they've done in that one country and adapt it to another one, right there they can grow exponentially. And two thirds of the exporters of the companies of the small and mid-sized have 20 employees or less. So if you're thinking you're too small to export, you absolutely aren't, are not. It's time to start thinking about it because U.S. products are in demand around the world. Any agriculture products, food products, a lot of manufactured, high-tech stuff, um, consumer products, gadgets, there's a, there's a huge demand for what's coming out of the U.S. So if you are afraid because you don't know how to handle other languages and cultures, you're not alone. It's the number one fear for companies not exporting. And like with everything else, if you put a process around it, you minimize your risk, you develop best practices and ways to do it so you can be successful. How we like to guide people is first think about what your corporate strategy is and then look at your communication strategy and your multilingual communication strategy is going to align with that. And then you have to think about, you know, what's the process you're going to use. And there's a process for everything, making sure that you get quali the quality translations that you need, making sure that you're leveraging technology to do the best job. Then you think about technology, how, how are you going to leverage it? So you've got your strategy, your process, your technology, and then you think about quality because if you've got people that are posting reviews on uh, Google, or your website, you may not have to actually trans those with lit, uh, translate those with a high quality translation. Google Translate might work for something like that. But if you've got anything that's marketing, legal, or that has the ability to affect your bottom line, you need to use a quality translation a translator to do the translation. So if you want a free multilingual marketing assessment, uh, just click the link below, schedule some time, be happy to give you some best practices or, or ideas or connections to resources to help you. Thanks for listening. If you found this video helpful, please share it, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you like hearing fun language and culture facts and goofs, use the link below to subscribe to our bi-monthly tidbit newsletter. And of course, visit our website for more information or to schedule a free translation assessment.